Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, I've just finished morning milking and we've got an exciting delivery here this morning. So I thought I'd show you guys what's arrived. Um, I'm gonna post this again this week. I have already posted a video this week, um, the cow's operation. Now, because of the rules and regs of YouTube and that, it's not as widely set or it might not suit everybody. So I thought I'd upload something that everyone would want to watch. If you do want to watch the operation, it's not actually that gory. It's not as bad as you'd think it would be. So if you do want to watch it, please, please, please do head over to my channel and click on it. You have to be signed in, you have to be over 18. Uh, but if that's something that you'd be interested in watching, then please do do that. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd make another short video for this week and show you guys our new exciting arrivals. So yeah. the new ones unloaded and they've just gone down the track i think they're just swapping over down there um and they're going to bring the old ones back so every
I got you in it, Grandad. <laughs> so we're just going on from the tractors and that I've not actually told you any information about them so I'm just going to get Ben who's being a little bit reluctant to be on the video which is annoying but um i'm just gonna ask ben the question so then because he knows all about that i don't know anything about it i'm just here filming it so yeah and here he is Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right uh I'll... right so as you saw before um two new tractors arrived and we sent two old tractors back with them so how often do we swap tractors in ben uh we'll trade one in about every three years um, and we'll keep them for six years. So we kind of trade the feeder wagon in, the field tractor will go on the feeder wagon, and then we get a new field tractor. Okay, and how many hours do you think they've done? The roughly? one that's just gone this morning's done 6,000, and then we have just traded in our scrape tractor, but that's only once in a blue moon we do that really. Right, cool. So yeah. What else? Oh, uh, how many hours did the scrape tractor do? The scrape tractor had 8,000 hours on it. <laughs> Might have even been eight and a half, yeah. How? We got that back in 2015. Proper workhorse. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Excited to drive your new tractor? Oh, I'm buzzing. I'm going there. Oh, have fun. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it's been a few days since I last recorded the tractors being dropped off. I was gonna get it done and posted that day anyway a lot of things happened and i never got around to it so anyway uh yeah it's now over the weekend i look an absolute mess i'm aware of that so please just ignore that it's bank holiday it's been at agm i've worked all weekend so yeah we're a bit of a hot mess right i'm stuck here trying to get through the cows so I've now i've had a cow carve this morning and she's gone down so i'm just going with all my gear and i'm gonna go and give her a bottle of calcium in the vein to be honest i didn't really see it coming this morning um she walked in fine i didn't take off too much milk um she had a bolus we give everything a bolus anyway so i didn't actually see it coming but anyway she um jacob came to tell me that she's not got up so anyway we will see what we can do what are we doing here my gate's a bit funny right you lost stay over there. Good girl. Right, so she's just in the 14. She's just here now. You right, oh. gonna get up. Oh. I thought she was gonna jump straight up then. Uh, I know. You're all right. She's got herself wedged in the corner as well. Why do they do that? She's got herself wedged in the hardest corner to even get up in between two bales. You're daft. Anyway, so I'm going to do it in her vein. So I've got a wipe to uh, clean it all off because I don't want it to get infected or anything. I've got a nice thick needle um, to get the calcium in as quick and efficient as possible. Using a flutter valve, which I've just put in some hot water along with the calcium because I'm putting it in the vein. It's nice to warm it up for her so she can't feel it all like cold going into her vein. So that's that. So yeah, I'm hoping, I can't actually see, normally when they're led down, like the milk vein pops up to either side, but it's actually not there. So I need to see if I can roll her over a bit. Anyway, yeah, she's really not helping me out here, but there is a little bit that I can see there. So I'll give it a go. I've not actually got my tripod, so I'm not even gonna be able to make you know, you're not even gonna be able to watch. So one sec. Right. So I've got my flutter valve. Right, that's on. Get a wipe. It's so fiddly.
So this is as good as I'm going to get, I think. So give that a good clean off. Good girl. Right, and then I'm just going to tip a bit of this out just to make sure it's working properly, which it is. Right, that's working. So now, let's get the needle. I'm sorry, this filming is tragic, so I've got my um, tripod. Right, good girl, are you ready? Can you see here how she's opening her mouth? So that's a clear sign of milk fever. See there, got her mouth open. They normally do this thing called the swan neck and she'll like kink her neck round, but because she's wedged herself in this corner, she's not actually doing that. I can't believe you're in this corner, lass. What are you doing? And look at her. I can't even get to a vein. Might have to try and get her in the neck. Let's see if we can get your neck. Right, she's not playing ball at all anyway, so we're in. Spotting her this now. Uh, it'll take a good five minutes for that to go down. So yeah, she's um she's showing clear signs of milk fever. She's got cold ears, she's opening her mouth, she's trying to swan neck, she can't get up. So she's a lack of uh calcium. I'll probably give her a fos a foston as well. Hopefully after give her 10, 15 minutes, hopefully she'll get up. Um, after this bottle and um, I can bring her into milk and then um, if she does get back in and lie down I'll bring all the food and stuff to her oh see she's cleansed over there so she, just seeing there she's cleansed so it's not like um, at least she's cleansed because that's the last thing I want her to do as well is to hold her cleansing and then she'll get an infection and then I'll have to start jabbing her uh, with antibiotics and all that sort of thing so yeah she's cleansed so that's a good sign but yeah she's got cold ears she's cold to touch she can't get up like I said, she's a bit of an older cow, so yeah, poor lass. Anyway, hopefully after this bottle, she'll be able to get up, get out of this corner, go and get something to eat and I'll milk her so I can feed a calf. So yeah, hopefully it all goes to plan. Right, that's the uh, bottle of calcium gone in the vein. Now, just in case she doesn't get up or, you know, she doesn't look like she's going to be fit to come into the parlour, I'm just getting some classroom out of the freezer. Hopefully there is some. Yeah. Hold on. Here we go. So yeah, if we ever have anything that gives lots of good colostrum, then we will uh, bag it and freeze it for situations like this, or if your cow just doesn't give any milk or anything like that. I'm just gonna go and um, defrost it now. I'll put it in the sink with some hot water and defrost it. And hopefully we'll be able to feed the calf before midnight because it's a massive block <laughs> i'm joking it'll be fine right does anyone else agree this all this sort of stuff always happens on a weekend always yeah, i'm now just making brews for everyone because dad and christine aren't here either always seems to happen this always seems to happen when you're on your own no one else is here and it's a sunday bank holiday sunday defrosted right that's defrosted i'm gonna go and um sort the calf out now feed that and then i'm gonna feed the cow and water the cow where she's at i'm not gonna bring her over because i don't want her to go down on the yard and damage herself anymore so yeah she's gonna stay in there i'm gonna feed the calf and i'll take the food and water to her Cuties. Right, I think it's in here. Oh, hello! Are you hungry? Come on, then. Ooh, what's this? Yummy! Right, good news, she's up. So I'm just going to back her out this corner. Steady, steady, you're all right. Good girl. And uh, I might even walk her out and see if she'll go to the trough. I'm not going to walk her to the parlour. It's just too risky. She might as well just get fully back on her feet. But she seems to be rushing around, which isn't ideal. Why are you going in there? Anyway, um, yeah, I'll see if she'll go and have a drink or something to eat. Good girl. Steady. Oof. Yeah, she's not the best on her feet, as you can see. There she is. Good girl, are you having a drink? 
Oh, she's a bit squittery as well. Hell, it's all going on, isn't it, love? Anyway, at least she's up. Um, she's just been at the trough. I just missed that. So she's had something to eat. She's probably, by the looks of it, going to go for a drink. And hopefully, tomorrow morning, we'll walk her in and she'll be fine. If you did watch my operation video, guys, this is her. It's healing really well. She's doing really well as well. Um, she's milking hard. She's eating. She's a lot brighter in herself, aren't you? So, yeah, operation went to plan. So, that's a good one. Right, uh, I'm gonna leave the video there guys. Um, short and sweet, well I think it's short and sweet. I'm not actually sure yet, I've not edited it. But um, yeah, and I'm gonna upload it on bank holiday Monday. Uh, Cause I was gonna do it on the Friday anyway. Like I said, didn't get around to it. So I'm gonna uh, upload this on the Monday. Um, so yeah, thanks again so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, please comment, please do all the good stuff. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. What are you doing?